Scorpios, what is going on with y'all? What's goody in the hoodie? My Scorpios, it's freaking morphing time. Y'all already know. Welcome to your general love reading, baby, for September 17th of 2023. Can y'all believe it's already the 17th of September? Scorps, our season coming up, baby. Next month, it'll be here before you know it. Y'all ready for y'all birthdays? Let me know what y'all doing for y'all for y'all birthdays in the comments. I'm nosy. Let me know what y'all doing. What y'all, what, what type of Scorpio birthday celebrations we got going on? Yeah. I told y'all next year I want to throw a Scorpio party. We got to figure out a venue. We got to figure out an area where every all my Scorpios can go. Where we all, you know what I mean? Because we from all over different parts of the world. But we got to come, we're going to have to pick it out. We got to pick one location that's easy for all of us to get to. And we can all meet and have a party and talk tarot and whatever. Things got too messy popped out. I'm seeing the name Sophia. Things got too messy. Mm. Somebody backed out of things with you because it started getting real messy. I don't know what happened, Scorpio. Whose car you keyed? Scorpio like, well, I didn't have to key your car, key Sean. If you would have acted right, uh-uh. <laughs> you know we always got a reason for why we do wrong. I, it's hard just being friends. I'm seeing the name Serena. It's hard just being friends. Somebody don't want to be your friend. <laughs> they don't want to be your friend. Hell no. It's hard for this person. I couldn't be the person you wanted. Damn, I'm seeing the name Jennifer or Jenny, Geraldo, uh-uh. I couldn't be the person you wanted. Somebody feel like, mm, somebody is like, they feel like they wasn't good enough for you. Like they kept trying to be better, but it was like, no matter what they did, they couldn't be what you wanted them to be, Scorpio. I was selfish. You were not my priority. That's the name Jamal or Jasmine. And then you got letting you go was so painful on the bottom. So somebody that let you go, mm, there's somebody here that let you go. And it was the most painful thing this person had to go through. I'm hearing the name Angel. Well, I'm seeing something about angels. But this person, they didn't want to let you go, whoever this was. I don't know who the hell this is. It took them a long time to let you go. And it hurt like hell. But then there's somebody else here who is realizing that they were selfish in this connection because they weren't making you a priority. Mm -hmm. Then you got somebody else over here that don't want to be your friend because they got feelings for you. Oh, Scorpio, let's use this deck right here and see what come out. Oh, Scorpio, what the blood clots. You wanna rumble with a B? Scorpio threw a hex on the whole family. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see, what else is going on in Scorpio's love life? Ooh, what popped out? Success and love tried to pop out. What did it say? Romantic love, falling in love, new love, successful outcome in love, mutual love, intimacy, and loyalty. Mm. Number 15. Somebody could be born on the 15th or something could happen on the 15th. Great water. Ooh, some of y'all by the beach, by the water. It says yearnings, dreams, wishes, goals. I feel like this is also water energy too. Abroad foreign people. Some of y'all talking to somebody who live in a foreign country. Spirituality, broadening horizons and new views. The number 36 is here. Ooh, despair. Somebody hurt over you. They sure is. Mm -hmm. It says adversity, excessive stress. Damn. Not just stress or excessive stress. Mm, 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 mm. Sadness, suffering, sleepless nights, failure, tortured with worry and fear. This person drinking too, for some of you, because this chick, she got a drink in her hand. Tears is running down her face, her mascara all smudged up. Somebody sad over you. Not just sad, this person is severely stressed. Mm. 
Some of y'all could be born on the 9th or the um, 5th. Sweetheart is here. In love, sweetness, mutual feelings, devoted, good intentions, innocence, love is in the air, and affection. Love and affection. You talking to somebody that's a sweetheart. 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 Or you got somebody coming in that's very kind and they in love with your ass. Mm-hmm. Sad news, uh-uh, bad news, inconvenient truth, delusion, disappointment, emotional self-pity, sadness, quarrel, and setback. You got sudden wealth here, at least you got money. But something happened though, something could have happened with somebody where you had to let them go. This person could have disappointed you, you could have found out some type of truth about them, could have even been a fight. Some of y'all born on the 14th. Don't forget to hit the like button, score. So this is resonating. Let me know in the comments how it resonates. I miss y'all. Official person. Somebody's in the military. It says person in uniform, dominant, battle, official work, rules and regulations, obligations, responsibility, and control. Who the hell is that? Number 22 is here. Person in uniform. That's the person you're dealing with. Somebody that got a good, somebody, some of y'all, this somebody that got a good job. I don't know, I just heard government for some of y'all. Maybe they got a government job or, oh my God, I swear I was going to say it and I didn't say it and now I regret not saying it. Before I started to reading, this card kept dropping on the floor. That's the reason why I even use this deck. I haven't used this deck in so long. But this card kept coming out, the seduction card. But right before I started to read and I'm like, this is Scorpio energy. Somebody trying to seduce you. Or somebody wants you to seduce them. It says passion, pleasure, temptation, beauty, attraction, chemistry, flirting, play, sexual intrigue, mating dance. Uh-uh. Somebody want to mate with you? <laughs> what the hell? That's sexy. <laughs> hey. Somebody really finds you very sexually attractive. Somebody might be 42 or 22, 50, 32, 36. Mm, let me get a card on top of this seduction. Let's see what's good with that. Hello. Look what's playing. Turn in. Of course, when I'm talking about seduction, fortune teller came out on top of seduction. Psychic gifts, somebody, some of y'all Scorpios, you like psychics and it's turning people on. <laughs> like it makes you look more sexy or something like that. Don't look at me like that. Or your spirituality makes you look sexy. It says unexpected news, intuition, external forces, future, the unknown, fate, seeking answers. It's like some of y'all is making you more attractive. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What about this um, sweetheart person? Who is this? If somebody could have a tattoo like right here, right above their shoulder. Caregiver. Oh shoot. With past life on the bottom. Oh my God. Whoever this sweetheart person is, they feel a past life connection with you. It says people from the past, past life connection, history, memories, familiarity, old soul, past event. This is somebody you've known before and they have a caregiver here. This person is really sweet. Some of you, maybe they work in the medical field or they do some type of profession that's healing because it says healer, physical slash emotional healing, support, seek advice, getting help. You could also be very healing towards this person. Who is the person that's in despair over you though? What's that about? Mature woman mm, with journey on the bottom. Wise, older, influential woman, a mother figure, good advisor, boss, mentor, teacher, the ex other woman. Let me get another card on that. It could be a mature woman or maybe somebody is in despair over you. You're the mature woman, child with enemy here. You got some enemies, sad. <laughs> Let me find out. Some of y'all, 
Scorpios, there's like a, like my feminine energies, you might have like a feminine energy that's sad because you're doing good. It's an enemy. You got enemies hurt. And child is here. Some of y'all, somebody is sad because you got pregnant or you had a, you have a baby with somebody else or something. That's not for all of you, clearly. The number 18 can be a significance. Some of you, somebody's sad because it says fresh start, new beginning, newness, childish, pregnancy, children, and a child, childhood. Some of y'all is people from your childhood or you even got people from your past that are like sad because you're moving forward with the child card. I don't know why I'm getting. Some of you people is like from your, from your childhood are jealous that you still look the same. What the hell? What is this official person occupation? You, Some of y'all dealing with somebody who got a lot of money. But look, this enemy card keep coming out, Scorp. You got a lot of enemies, too. It says rival, frenemies, competitor, fights, hostility, be vigilant, opposing ideas, inner conflict, revenge, and clashing. You got people jealous of your job or something for some of y'all. Some of y'all may have a really good job. And people are jealous of that with the occupation on top of official person. That could be you. Work, business. Some, some people are jealous of your work. Whatever you do for, you know, some of you might be self-employed. Mm -hmm. Or you just might be really good at whatever it is you do. I'm seeing somebody in front of a computer. But you also, some of you are dealing with somebody who has a really good job. And it's making people jealous. Like, what's this success in love? Thief, uh-uh, with false person. You got to be careful, Scorpio. I feel like you've dealt with a lot of fake-ass people. Yeah, with false person and thief here, you've dealt, you've dealt with people. But look what's behind that. I love it. Divine support. So even though you've dealt with these types of people, you still have had this divine protection. Because it literally says guidance, angelic signs, higher self, synchronicities, deeper purpose, soul calling, dream messages, and miracles on with the thief and the false person. So I feel like you finally get success in love after dealing with these types of people. It says lies, betrayal, frenemies. There's that word again, frenemies, fake friends. Watch out, you know already, bad intentions, deceit, hidden enemy, manipulation. And then this thief card says lost. Some of y'all might be 24 or you might be born on the 24th or the 8th. It says lost, abandonment, disappearance, missing someone or something, theft, deficiency, energy, vampire, and removed. Yeah, you're getting rid of these types of people. But you've encountered a lot of people that are like that. With great water, you got disconnection and long road. Yeah, you've been through a lot. You detached from somebody here. It says uh, detached, alienation, indifference, reluctance, no interest, dissatisfied, missed opportunities, and self-absorbed. Look at that, score. Let's see what the tarot got, because this was juicy. <laughs> This, I mean, it's always juicy for the Scorps. Let me, let me like that sage. Let me like that sage. What y'all having for dinner, Scorps? Mm -hmm. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all having for dinner. I got me a Panera salad and a sandwich. I can't wait. I started trying to watch um the new episode they got up for Love is Blind. But I don't know, like some of them people are just so fake. I'm like, this seems so fake now. Like it's not, like nothing compares to the first season. Like it seems so authentic and real. But it's like, since then, it's like people just be going on the show for cloud. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know, God forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't know, I watched like a, in 30 seconds and I turned it off. I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling this fake shit today. But I like the show, but see my first season was the most real. I don't know. But anyway, Scorpios, it's morphin' time, baby.
yeah, I have. Y'all had a good weekend. Hope y'all have a blessed week. How y'all feeling? Shout out to all the members. We got a new member too, Brittany. Shout out to Brittany. She, well, I'm sorry, she's a new Patreoner. So shout out to Brittany for becoming a new Patreoner. Shout out to all the new members too. We got a lot of new members this week. New members read coming soon. And if y'all want to book a personal reading with me, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. That is the only way to book a reading with Miss Hawaii, okay? And look out for people scamming, fake. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus. How does this person feel about Scorpio? Like, what's going on with Scorpio in love? What does Scorpio need to know? What's going on with Scorpio in love? What does Scorpio need to know? The King of Cups in reverse. Oh, who is that? Some water sign here. The Seven of Wands. <laughs> Somebody seeing you is mad guarded. <laughs> oh my God, the King of Wands. Who are all these people? Uh-uh. You got a fire sign here and you got a water sign here. Oh, the strength card. Somebody holding back a Leo. Mm. The chariot in reverse, cancer energy. Somebody stuck on you. They thought it was going to be easy to get over you. They thought it was going to be easy to like let you go and get over you. Like maybe that's what they've done in the past for other people. But <laughs> Lo and behold, you done came across the Scorpio. We are unlike any other. Damn, the Ten of Swords. Mm. Yeah, somebody thought they were going to be able to get over your ass quick. They was like, oh, it ain't nothing. I'm good. <laughs> Just another one bites the dust. Uh-uh. Ten years later. Six of Cups in reverse. Somebody from your past that can't let you go. Just like I was just saying. And you got the moon on the bottom. Somebody with hidden feelings. Ooh. Spicy meat of all. Somebody got hidden feelings for you. I can't wait to clarify that. Yeah, uh -huh. I ain't gonna be hidden much longer. Yo, well, Roy. There will be an extended for this read. If you want to join me in the extended, I would love to see you. If not, I'll catch you next time. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. But shout out to all the Scorpios who got the last extended. Thanks you for supporting the channel. Thanks for all your love, Scorpio. One thing we not is cheap. Mm -mm, no sirree. Hey, Sim Sima. Who got the key to my mama? Hey. Hey, who got the key to my mama? Oh. Boop. And I rush. Oh! Who is this King of Cups in reverse? <laughs> y'all know y'all want to party with me. We got to get that Scorpio party together for next year. We got to figure out a, a place where we can all meet that's convenient for all the Scorpios. Maybe I'll do like a poll, like a Scorpio poll. Like y'all live on the East Coast, y'all live on the West Coast, y'all live international, where y'all live, dirty South. And then whoever. Wherever we have the most Scorpios, got to be somewhere in that area, right? I think that's fair. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Would you come? I hope you would come. We have to pick somewhere really nice, too, with good food. Got to be good food. Could do something for, like, the weekend or something, like have it in a hotel or something. Yeah, ran out the pool, have the whole pool. I was like, hey, get naked. Bunch of Scorpios under one roof. Ooh, it's going to be a lot of sex. <laughs> Let me see the King of Cups in reverse. I'll make sure I have an extra, extra camera footage. Uh -huh. You want candy camera. Get all y'all drunk. Let me see the King of Oh, what popped out? The Hierophant. Ooh, Jim Simba. Who got the keys to my demo? Who is the King of Cups in reverse? Justice again in reverse. Ooh, somebody is mad at you. <laughs> somebody here feel like you and them was supposed to be married. Y'all supposed to be together. They don't understand what happened. 
They don't understand with the justice in reverse, it could be a Libra. They felt like you and them was gonna get married and be together long term. What happened? The fool? Person feel like the death. I'm telling you with the three of pentacles. This is somebody that still got feelings for you, but they feel like they had to pull back their feelings because you done with them. But this is somebody that really felt like you and them was going to be together, like get married. Like they pulling mad major arcanas. They got the fool here, the death, which is your energy, right? The hierophant Taurus energy, Aries energy. This person's like, they don't get how things are over between you and them. And it's kind of got them in their feelings. Let me get one more card on this person. Told you the Eight of Swords. They don't get it. Like, they feel like you just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sim Simma. All right, what's the Seven of Wands? <laughs> what's the Seven of Wands? Oh, that's my song right there. Hey. Got niggas out of there, don't care for me. Got bitches out of there, don't care for me. It's the Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. Somebody is fine on you because they feel like if they came towards you, you would be pissed off. So they got to watch you from afar. Oh my God, who is this? It's somebody that want to be with you with the Ten of Cups, but why does this person feel like you would be defensive? Six of Pentacles. I don't know. It's somebody that's spying on you. They feel like you mad guarded towards them. They feel like they can see themselves having a Ten of Cups with you. And it, it's just showing me that you're very defensive towards this person. How do you feel about whoever this is? The judgment. I don't know why this person thinks that about you. Can I get one more card on this person? Because the judgment means you fucking with them. The Seven of Swords. Oh, well that explains it. <laughs> you don't trust them, whoever they are. With the Six of Swords. It's somebody you moved on from. <clears throat> you don't trust them with the Seven of Swords. They could have showed you something about them that's sneaky, but this person, they still watching you. Make it look easy. Who is this King of Wands? It's a fire sign on you. Three of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Oh my God, what the hell? King of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Okay. The fire sign a little stuck up, huh? They want them to think they think you're supposed to do everything. The fire sign think they too damn cute. That's their problem. I don't know. I don't. I don't think you fucking with the fire sign either. <laughs> Some of y'all feel like the fire sign isn't stable enough. You see them as immature. See page of cups in reverse. As I said that. Mm, they still on you. Who is the person holding back with the strength? The Ace of Swords. It's somebody that want to talk to you. Hey, man. They just waiting. Pisces energy. I don't know more about the strength card. Holding back. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Damn, this person turned on by you. They're very attracted to you, but they're holding back for some reason. They think you all focused on your money, your career. You ain't thinking about them. You got people shook. <laughs> you got people shook, baby. Hello? Mm. What's the chariot in reverse? Oh, Scorpio. Knight of Cups. Told you, it's somebody that cannot move on from you, right? They thought it was going to be easy to get over you. Four swords in reverse. 
Meanwhile, this person losing sleep over you, three of pentacles, talking about you to their friends, people that they job. Some of y'all, they even went so as far as to get counseling because of you, whoever this is. Don't look at me like that. I'm telling you what's here. It could be another water sign, another Scorpio or Cancer Pisces. This is somebody that thought, I don't know why I'm getting this person has been stuck on you for a minute, like a long time. This don't feel like somebody you just met or something. This feel like somebody that from a while back who thought that it was just going to be that was it and uh -uh, Knight of Cups. <laughs> the Hermit. Could be a Virgo for some of you. Mm, person like you because you wise. Like you tapped in. It's like they can't forget like that tapped in energy you gave them. That Scorpio experience, baby. That's what I call it. Are you ready for the Scorpio experience? We're going to get some Scorpio experience t-shirts. I can give you the Scorpio experience. Can you handle it? What's this ten of swords? I don't know what they what people say. <laughs> the nine of pentacles in reverse. Mm. Ace of Cups. Somebody new wants to make you a love offer. Oh my God. Yes, they do. The lovers and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is in love with you, but this person want to take things slow because this person just got out of an ending. They just ended something with somebody and they not kind of, they not over this ending with this person, whoever it is, is that they had an ending with, this person really betrayed them really betrayed them but this person feel feelings for you they never felt before this is a newer person could be a gemini with the lovers here hello mm. this person needs some time with the eight of wands in reverse they definitely don't want nothing to do with the past person i feel like they blocked their ass could have been somebody that was with them for financial reasons yeah they don't want no drama five of wands in reverse like could have been a lot of drama with that past connection. But look at this, the sun. It's like your energy is healing to this person. I feel like there's somebody you're talking to now. Who is the past person that can't let you go? Y'all got a long reading this week. People going to be mad. Page of Pentacles. Somebody that's about to hit you up if they haven't already. Feel like you don't want nothing to do with this person, though. Yep, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Told you. Feel like it's somebody you definitely let go of. But they can't let go of you. With the two of pentacles, could be somebody that tried to like juggle you or something like that. With the king of wands in reverse. Who is the person with the secret feelings with the moon? What's the moon about? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. The knight of wands. Whoa, it's a fire sign. Four of wands. Oh, shit. Some of y'all are somebody in a whole fucking relationship. Marriage, commitment. That's why they hide in feelings. The nine of cups in reverse. And they're miserable. Bye! King of Cups because they love you. Damn. Mm. Somebody in a whole relationship is miserable. Oh. That's the secret. The secret's out. <laughs> Knight of Wands, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups in reverse. Mm. This person feel like their happiness is with you. This is crazy. This is somebody that's married or in a whole relationship. Clearly, this ain't for all of you. But this person is not happy. But they're hiding it for some reason. What's behind the moon? Fucking the two of fucking cups. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody's hiding their feelings for you. They have strong feelings for you. And the only reason why they're hiding it is because they're in a relationship that they're not happy in with the Nine of Cups, which doesn't make sense. They just have this passion for you. Can I know more about this person? Yeah, we're going to dig. We're going to dig. The King of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Cups. Oh, they're about to walk away. The moon in reverse. Oh, shit. With the high priestess. Lord, give me the strength. Oh, Jesus. The moon in reverse. This person about to tell you everything. They about to tell the world. I love Scorpio. That's it. 
The person that they with is mean, a king of swords in reverse. Ooh, they in a relationship with somebody that's whoo, horrible. The damn devil. But with the eight of cups and the moon in reverse, this person about to leave. Mm, like old people say. Old people say, mm, when you give them some good gossip, they be like, what? I can't wait. Let's go to the extended now. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The moon with the moon in reverse. They can't hide it much longer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scorpio, let's go to the extended now. All right. Uh, in the extended, you already know what we're going to do. We're going to look at the, uh, I don't know which deck I'm going to use for you. I might use the Island Time deck to see what's coming towards you in the future in love. Then we're going to reveal the Amira love messages. See what you can expect in the future in love. Then we're going to pull the tarot, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Do I make you haunted, baby? And then we're going to go to pull you some advice. So we have fun in the extendeds. I hope to see you guys there. If not, I'll catch you in the next one. It's all good in the hood. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, show your girl some love. If you want access to bonus readings, become a member. I would love to have you as part of the family. If you want to learn about astrology, check out my Patreon page and shout out to Brittany once again, our new Patreon person that has joined, new Patreon member, I said person. You know what the hell I mean. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Book a personal reading. Email my assistant, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I love you, Scorps. It's morphin' time always. Have a blessed week. Stay happy. Burn your sage. Eat your fruits, your vegetables. Drink your water and eat your snacks. And love yourself always. You are the power of transformation. You are the sign of transformation. Don't you ever forget it. Ever. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Boom!